Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss the following question and the question says that Shane and Bruce travel in their cars to reach their respective destinations. The relationship between time h in hours and distance d in miles travelled for Shane is given by d is equal to 60 into h. Also, the following graph shows the average speed of Bruce's car whose car is travelling faster. We know that equation of proportional relationship is given by y is equal to k into x. Also we know that whenever a line passes through origin that is 0 0 there is a proportional relationship and unit rate or slope is given by change in y that is y minus 0 by change in x that is x minus 0 and is equal to y upon x. With this key idea, let us proceed to the solution. In this question, we are given the relationship between time and distance for Shane's car, which is d is equal to 60 into h, where h is time in hours and d is the distance travelled in miles. Here we are given the relationship between time and distance for Shane's car and this is given by D is equal to 60 into H where h is the time in hours and d is the distance travelled in miles and from the key idea we know that the equation of proportional relationship is given by y is equal to k into x and it is clear from the key idea that the relationship given by the equation d is equal to 60 into h is a proportional relationship. So from this equation we get the ratio that is d upon h is equal to 60 and we can see that the unit rate or slope of this equation will be equal to 60. It means in one hour the distance travelled is 60 miles so we can say speed of Shane's car is 60 miles per hour now we shall find the same for Bruce's car and again from the key idea we know that whenever our line passes through origin that is 0 0 there is a proportional relationship 
and the unit rate or slope is given by y upon x and we are given a graph which shows the average speed of Bruce's car and we see that there is a proportional relationship between time and the distance travelled because graph is a straight line passing through origin that is 0, 0 for slope we find the ratio that is d upon h where d is the distance travelled in miles and h is the time taken in hours and here if we take this point the distance travelled is 67.5 miles and the time is 1.5 hours so here we have the ratio d by h that is 67.5 miles upon 1.5 hours and this is equal to 45 miles per hour so its slope or unit rate is equal to 45 it means in one hour Bruce travels 45 miles so its speed is 45 miles per hour So from the slope we came to know about distance travelled per mile that is speed and we have seen that speed of Shane's car is 60 miles per hour and the speed of Bruce's car is 35 miles per hour. Clearly speed of Shane's car is greater than speed of Bruce's car. So we can say that Shane is travelling faster this completes our session hope you enjoyed this session